Welcome to another edition of Commission Conversations. I'm John Lux, I'm the Executive Director of Film Florida. Today, our guest is Megan Happel from Space Coast Film Commission. Megan, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So uh, we usually start out, first things first, is uh, we're all dealing with the pandemic still. So in a general sense, uh, let us know how things are going over in Brevard County. So far, things are going great. We did put a pause on it for a little while because our county was closed to tourism and people coming in, but we've since opened up the county and permits have started coming back in. So we're really excited about that. We've got a couple of things coming up that I'm really excited about seeing once they've finished. And because we are still following CDC guidelines, we are recommending people to use masks, have hand sanitizer, use smaller crews if possible. At the moment, I believe we are open to having around 50 people in different groups per the state guidelines. So that's roughly where we are right now, but we are still encouraging that or smaller. And for those that aren't aware, uh, you recently replaced the retired uh, Bonnie King, who is in that role for quite a long time. Talk about <laughs> how things are, you know, getting kind of your feet wet um, on the Space Coast as, as the person in charge of the filming side of things. Yeah, so I joined the Space Coast Office of Tourism back around Valentine's Day. So the past four months have been a whirlwind of getting used to my new role and getting used to the Film Commission as well. And it's been absolutely a blast. And I really have to thank everyone who's been helping me out from Bonnie to Nikki and Susan, all of our city managers, Parks and Rec. Everybody's been really great and knowledgeable. So anytime I have an issue or I'm not sure about something, there's somebody that I can reach out to to help me get it taken care of. And everything has been relatively smooth sailing other than, of course, coronavirus came up and that put a halt on a lot of things that were going on. But everything's starting to pick back up at this point. And now you handle both the filming side of things, but you're also involved in the tourism side. So talk a little bit, a little bit about that balancing act. So my primary role is public relations manager for the Space Coast Office of Tourism. So my typical day-to-day -day life involves writing press releases, contacting media, fielding interviews. The past four months have been absolutely a roller coaster from dealing with a pandemic, the return to human space flight. We just ran a press conference for the governor. So it's been <laughs> real crazy, but I'm super excited to not only be able to promote and talk to people about the place that I call home and I've called home for most of my life, Space Coast, but also being able to bring out my passion for the film industry. And it's something that I've been wanting to get involved with my whole life. So it's really exciting being able to do this. And I mean, it goes all the way back to my childhood. I remember my mom being an extra on contact in Armageddon. So it's really been a blast getting a chance to step into this role. Well, speaking of some of the, the filming side of things, um, in your short time over on the Space Coast in this role, have you picked out any of your favorite locations for filming? Some of my favorite places would be our county parks because they, you just disappear into nature on those boardwalks and you're surrounded by all of these massive trees. And it's really a surreal experience sometimes because you kind of forget where you are. And some of them have a direct path to either the beach or the Indian River Lagoon. And you just, you're in this dense forest of trees and then all of a sudden it's a beautiful beach with a beautiful water view. So I think that's really fantastic. Uh, there's a location uh, called Crane Creek, uh, the Crane Creek Promenade, where if you're lucky, you can see some manatees there, but there's this beautiful old train bridge right there, a, a railway bridge, and I just think it's absolutely beautiful to me. So if you really like industrial type things, that's something that you could look out for. And if you want to shoot at the beach with a dog, we have uh, Canova Beach, and that's our beach friend, our dog friendly beach. So 
So Megan, I know you weren't in your current role when season one of The Right Stuff filmed out on the Space Coast, but talk a little bit about uh, how excited you are to see that premiere later this year on Disney+. Plus. It's absolutely huge for us. So like I mentioned, I grew up here, and like most people who grew up here, we grew up surrounded by NASA and all of these other people who are working on the Space Coast for the space industry. So going back to, like I mentioned, when I was a kid, having films like Contact and Armageddon come here, the space industry has always been a pillar of not only our community and of our tourism, but also of our film industry here. And getting something about the film and uh, getting something about the space industry that was something that happened here and it's filming here is fantastic because we did have a few projects about the early years of the space race that were filmed in other states and i know that was something that i personally was very sad about so getting the right stuff here is excellent and i mean i even had a neighbor who was a air force general who had stories about chuck yeager from back in the day so it really is a huge part of the history of the Space Coast, hence our name, and being able to get to see that project come to life and have it be on National Geographic and Disney Plus is a complete win in our book. I agree. It's, uh, it, it was a huge coup for the folks in Central Florida and the Space Coast, and we're all looking forward to, to seeing it later this year. Megan, thanks for taking some time this morning to help us learn a little bit more about Brevard County and the Space Coast. Yeah, thanks again.